Check out the gang, baby. Look at the OB, baby. Look at the Nagara Flame Tail, baby. Look at the OB Strawberry. No, not the OB. I'm talking about look at the Dragon Blood Strawberry. Look at that big yellow male. Yellow lab, breathing male lab. Look, he's great. See how you got the black bar from the top. And you got the pregnant mommy holding back there. See, she got the mouth fully. See if she can hold it that long. You know. Some more dragon bloods coming up. Some OB dragon bloods. That one made it with the uh, infamous Sunshine Banger, baby. Look at that OB, though. Straight stud. I got about 100 OBs at 2 inches right now. They for sale, $10. Let me know. They ain't going nowhere. They're going to keep getting bigger. They're going to be true studs. Gang looking real good. That sofa here, look at that blaze on that thing. Good God. Got another pregnant mommy at the top right there. OB female holder right there. Got the red shoulder tucked off at the top. Look at that uh, male right there. He a daddy to all those OBs that I have. He breeded with the OB with the Dragon Blood Mommy. Dude looks great. Straight stud. Flexing. You know what I mean? This is a 55 gallon, you know, crystal clear aquarium. Got the sponge filter in there. Got the 304 filter. You know what I mean? You see it straight through. Real clear. You know what I mean? Glass a little dirty, but. Very nice. Look at the male stunning. You know, if you like it, you keep it, you know, put a comment down. You know, also I'll let y'all know that, man, when you're inside of this fish keeping hobby, you know, keep mindful of you mixing with these mabunas with these peacocks. You know, they got different diets or whatever. You put the food inside of there, you know, you want it to be a mixed variety because you don't want to get those fish bloat. So what I do is I feed them some three millimeter veggie krills three days a week. And I just feed them, you know, cyclic formula, a regular protein source, you know, just the new, you know, keep these uh, peacocks, you know, flourishing as well. And I feed krill, but I feed krill once every two weeks or twice a month, the frozen krill. You know, only got two mavuna in there, but you know, the yellow labs are something that I admire, breed those, I got those for sale. They're about two, two and a half inches, they're $10 a piece as well, you know. Also, man, if you get into the African cyclic hobby, you know. Go bigger the better. Right, this is my first uh, African Sigma tank right here. It's 55. You know, I got uh, tanks, got 11 tanks all over, but a 125 on the porch is haps. You know, I think this is pretty good. I probably got about 14 inside of here. You know, at one point in time, I had 40. I could add more if I wanted more in here, but it's, it, it's like the less fish you have in your aquarium and a proper amount of filtration you have, your water clarity will do itself. You don't have to work as hard. You see what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a lot of fish in here, you know, it's not overstock, but it's more than some people call comfortable, you know what I mean? I could put 10 more here if I wanted to, and be fine if I did more water changes and added more filtration. I got the canister filter right there and the sponge filter, just seeding. I don't really need it there, but you know, that's how I feel. But with that being said, you know, the more fish you put in the tank, you need more filtration. So it's possible to have more fish inside of a 55. I really think you could push about 20, 25 full grown peacocks inside of a, um, uh, 55, cause check this out, that's full grown, he ain't getting no bigger, that's about 5 inches. Nagar flame tail, he's 6 inches right there, no problem, full grown male, you, you know what I mean? That Mabuna man, that's about 5 inches, that's a big Mabuna right there, adult male. You know, all the other about 4 inches, and you look at that, he's not a little fish here, they, they, you know what I mean? That's probably my littlest one right there, 3 inches, that one grows slow, it's a swallow tail, you know? Um, you definitely want your water parameters to be high. You want a high pH. So what I got here, I got some cichlid sand right here. You know, that's buffering. That you see, they uh, dig sands for breeding and stuff like that to show off. That's why you got that hold of mommy because they've been breeding. That's what they do. They push around the sand. They love it. You know, a high pH. You know, 8.0 8 or better. These fish are thriving, you know. Uh, get you a nice heater. Keep your temperature around, uh, I say, 7 to 8 and above. I mean, you can go lower, you know. It's slower their metabolism down. You know, it's not as healthy, but... Going all the way hot is the 80 will speed it up. That's not as healthy either. So, you know, between uh, 78 and 82 is perfect for these fish, you know. So, you know, you just pick your poison. Half cup, half full, half, you know what I mean, empty. Um, when you're picking inside of these African cichlids as well, 
You notice I don't have two of the same fish in here. This is an all male species tag. I do have two females in here. I know that. But sometimes I like to breed and get a little funky, you know. I like this hobby and I enjoy it. But, you know, if you can stay away from females inside of an all male tank, you will reduce the, the aggression inside of your aquarium by a lot drastically. You know, it still will be aggression. I mean, these are aggressive fish by nature. They're African cichlids. I mean, it is what it is. But, I mean, you know... Can't cry about that, you know. I respect the hierarchy inside of an African cichlid tank. I enjoy to see who the tank boss or who's the lowest wimp. But uh, keep going on. What I was saying is, you know, try not to add, you know, fish that look too too much alike because they'll become more dominant toward each other or more, you know, combative. Where you know, I mean, they had to prove a point to see who the top dog is. So when you're picking your stocking list, you know, pick them, you know, one species of each kind. And if you want to um, get two of the same fish, I mean, that's on you too. You can do it too, you know what I mean? You can still well, stock your tank and maybe, you know, they won't see each other as much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Walk past when you see me. When you see me in the streets, nigga, you don't know me. T.I., you know what I mean? Something like that. Um, What else would I like to say, man? Oh, you know, try to pick fish that's, uh, and, and, and um, it's the same diet. You got carnivores, herbivores, omnivores. You know what I mean? Like, I got my boon in here. That's a, a herbivore. And I got omnivores fishing here. Or, uh, or, uh, carnivores fishing here. But more, more or less, they have some more carnivores. Peacocks you can get away with. With a good regular old staple pellet. You know what I mean? Um, what else, y'all, man? I'm gonna get y'all to run down on this. Oh, try to pick fish somewhere similar in size as well. You know, if you got two-inch fish, keep two-inch fish. You know, buy them at two inches. You know? You got four inch fish, try to get a three to four inch fish, you know, maybe five. Somewhere around the, the, the same size so they won't be getting beat up on. And if you add a fish to a tank, add three or more fish, you know what I mean? Make sure you buy three fish at a time or something like that so they won't be targeted out and, you know, aggression and be all beat up. Peacocks are very beautiful. I mean, I love haps, but I love my peacocks. This is my bedroom. Peacocks are one of those species that are colorful. They don't get as big, so you can have as many more in your tank. And aggression is not as aggressive as a predator hat, per se. Um, they're just great fish, you know what I mean? But trying to keep an all-peacock tank with beautiful fins and not tore up is all based on your stocking, you know what I mean? Picking the right fish and everything like that. What else is another tip I got for you guys, man? Um, Great surface agitation. You want surface agitation so the tank can be oxygenated. Especially if your temperature is up to 80, it reduces the oxygen inside of the aquarium. So you need surface agitation in the surface breakage, which causes your tank to have some oxygen inside of the tank. So these fish will be breathing. So you see how they mouth is closed and relaxed. Pretty healthy fish. You know, not stressed out and stuff like that. Fins looking good. That's, that's due to good oxygen and stuff like that. You feel me? Definitely want some beautiful oxygen inside of your aquarium for these fish. Um... What's another hot tip, you guys? Um, lighting is, uh, this is a core life on this side of this tank right here. You know, lighting is basically all up on you. You know what I mean? It, fish don't have to have it, you know? Uh, I like the lighting on. I like T5 because you see my rocks, they have the algae on it. You know, they be eating off the algae and everything like that. The Mabunas love to eat off the algae off the rocks. You know, I just clean my glass and stuff on, you know what I mean? I like to keep my, my light on 10 hours a day if I can. Sometimes I work, some days they don't even get light. You know, it is what it is. Um, Man, I've been enjoying this hobby. I've been in this hobby almost a year. It'd be a year in March. You know, my anniversary of year in this hobby in March. If y'all take the time to go all the way back, I got my first video up here. My fish was small. You know, I grew out most of my peacocks. I mean, I bought them small. You know what I mean? I bought them from Live Fish Direct. I took the time to groom them, and I, it's rewarding how they coloring up inside of this hobby, you know. Um, it's just a beautiful thing. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, you know, feel free. But I uh, let y'all go right here, man. I left a couple tips in there for you all. Oh, and here go the number one thing that I hate inside of this hobby. When you show somebody who don't have a fish tank, they're going to say, Isn't there too much fish in that aquarium, man? Dude. Enjoy your tank how you enjoy it. And uh, don't mind people who don't know the fish hobby as well as you do. As uh, long as you have circulation inside of your tank, your fish are eating good. You know what I mean? You be mindful of the diets of your fish. You be mindful of the space, you know what I mean? Um, they got good swim around space. I mean, you'll do fine. Also, all you guys rock. 
Thank y'all for supporting me and rocking with me my day ones. Yo, shout out, salutes. You know who you are. Um, taking off this year, man. I'm going to take off this year. I'm seriously taking off this year. And what I mean by that is I'm definitely going into this hobby full fledged to another direction where I'm trying to get my breeding skills up. And then, you know, I'm trying to start a PayPal and I'm um, ordering bags right now to ship out products, you know, boxes and stuff like that. Uh, you know, just so y'all can enjoy some of these fish I do and, you know, and know you're getting some good healthy fish, man. From somebody who loves fish, you know. So, uh, let me swag your tanks out this year. Y'all stay with me. Let's go to New Heights. Take care.